Untouched by the Veronicas is the best pop song that I've ever heard. Even with MGMT's Kids and Chitty Bang's remix of MGMT's Kids in the picture, the trophy still goes to the Australian sisters for a song that begins with violent strings and a lyric sheet that consists of what can only be described as pre-nut blabbering. My name's not Dev Lemon, so if you came to this video hoping for a music theory unpacking of what makes the sounds and chords in this song work, that's not my zone. I'm all about big principles and fluffy sentimental ideas, which is probably why I'm so smacked in the face by Untouched when it takes Zorro-sized blade swipes at my giddy, love-soaked heart. Following that, the stiff but manically fast tempo of the song makes the drum pattern feel more like a racing heartbeat, replicating the sensation of brushing arms with your crush at a house party, or the next 20 seconds after throwing back a Jaeger bomb, or watching Crank, or all three in succession. It's a fast, dizzy love strike being king hit by Cupid until everything is fast forward in your mind and slow motion in real life. Your face doesn't just have heart eyes, your eyes themselves are heart eye emojis. The song is not just in love, it is uncontrollably, unashamedly horny. But thankfully, that's not the reason I like the song, no. Instead, it's that I think the song just feels so... free. As the Oroglasso twins la 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 and ooh ooh ah ah their way through verses like an abstinent kookaburra, nothing of substance seems to be being said at all. And that is why it's so good. As your high school English courses would have made clear to you when you studied the poetry of tuberculosis inflicted cuckolds, artists have been trying to put words to what it's like to be in love. And it's hard. What the Veronicas do on Untouched is demonstrate how hard that actually is, especially in the moment. They stutter their words into a panicked string of loose syllables and obsessive run-on sentences. One which even fights the fast tempo of the song by spilling about wanting to freeze time and live in the moment forever. This vomit of seemingly nonsensical words sets you free from the usual pressuring habit of needing to obey any verbose logic when typically writing lyrics. Instead, it lets the girl's energy and the euphoria of the melodies take the wheel. That, and also I assume splashing around in a tub of complete and colourful nonsense is fun and cathartic anyways. I assume this is why bath bombs are considered relaxing. But it's also why Playboy Carti's mouth sounds get a room of white boys doing backflips, and also why Snail is the best Benet song. And if you think I'm wrong for that one, I'm never going to convince you otherwise. With the Veronica's nonsensical, lustful desperation driving them to complete verbal incoherence, this leaves Untouched more like the Gen Z equivalent to the B-52's Love Shack. Yes, it's really a song by two members of Gen Y, but you know that in spirit this was for the Gen Z kids. Let us have this one. You guys already have the thong song, and if you ask me, that's a pretty good trade-off. <laughs> 